What's up all you guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you guys watch WWE's brand new series, Most Wanted Treasures? The Undertaker's Mask. The Undertaker's Mask when he wore it, when he injured his face, his facial fractures from Mabel in 1995. He had a two year run as the Purple Undertaker, guys. You guys gotta watch it on a and &E. it's a crazy series. A lot of rare memorabilia and items from WWE wrestlers like The Undertaker and Kane and Mankind. The Undertaker's Mask. Even Michelle McCool didn't know about it. It was a short stint as The Undertaker was wearing purple from 1994 to 1996. Only two years. Everybody thought this was his most popular gimmick. Everybody loved this color. The purple was bringing in the brand new era. The new generation era in the mid 90s. He transitioned from the gray original Undertaker that he wore for four years. From 1990 to 1994. Last time we saw the gray Undertaker was in WrestleMania 13 in 1997. When he brought it back against Psycho Sid in the main event. He actually never won a world title with the purple. Which is really really rare. Right here on the left, you get to see The Undertaker's mask. It's quite similar to the Phantom of the Opera mask. So I guess that's what they're going for. It kept all the bones in place and helped The Undertaker throughout his career when he needed that mask. But this mask is quite similar to this mask of Kane's, his younger brother. Kane's modern day mask at one time was quite similar to Undertaker's Phantom Mask in 1995. You guys got to go check it out. Compare these two masks and imagine the Brothers of Destruction with this gimmick, this image. Two brothers with melted masks looking like masks from Goosebumps. It's eerie and scary at the same time, guys. Tell me what you guys think about Undertaker's mask. Were you guys a fan? Did you guys not like it? Do you guys even remember it? Apparently the video has over 3 million views. They didn't expect it. They threw the stuff in the storage. Undertaker didn't want to think about this time for some reason. I'm thinking it's because of the injury. He didn't want to relive that time. Maybe he was facing some dark times in 1994 to 1996. But the purple Undertaker was the best Undertaker that ever lived. Everybody can agree. Tell me in the comment section which one was your favorite Undertaker. Was it the gray one? Was it in the Attitude Era? Was it the Ministry of Darkness? Was it Big Evil or American Badass? Everybody else make sure to like the video. And also share it with your wrestling friends. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. It really helped guys. Have a great day and peace out.